Well, the grandkids are over watching the birds fly. My solid white one, that Polish hen and her cock, I moved it over last night or earlier today, and it went out on me flying. Never been out. Hopefully, it won't fly off. I think it's in a tree. No, that might be it flying there. Or it, yeah, there's that white one, I think. Yeah, the one landing in the tree. It doesn't know how to land. Hey, y'all sit down. Quit running around. Don't scare the birds. See the white ones over there on my roof. Never been out. Never flew. Never never been on an aviary board there or nothing. I thought it was in the aviary. I didn't know it went out. I mean, inside the loft. And I went in there to look to close up the bob trap so it couldn't go out. And it had already went out. Birds have been flying for a little while. They're getting tired. We got a lot of haziness from all that uh, fire and smoke from Canada come down here, Pennsylvania. For the last three days, I believe. All right. Uh, today Silas is uh, looking at his bird. What's your bird's name? Sparkles. Sparkles, yeah. Let's, let's take a little closer look. He's a pretty bird. He's been flying real good. I've been very proud of him. Uh, moved him over there within about three or four days. He is out flying with the other birds. He does real well, traps real well. Never been trap trained. He trained his own self. Yeah, he's been doing good. Can't wait till we start tossing them. Here in the near future, I'll start doing that. Yeah. But you can't wait for him to start racing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's Silas and his bird sparkles. All right, I got another bird in today. It's been a while since I bought a bird. Been selling a few, but I haven't bought none in, I don't know, months. But anyway, I got uh, a grizzle hen, and we'll take a look at her real quick. Whoa, calm down, calm down, it's okay. I'm going to look at the pedigree real quick. Those of you that know pedigrees, you can put it on pause and look at it more closer. Looks like it comes from a good background. I want to put her on my grizzle cock up here. There he is. Of course, I think she's kind of young. It'd be for next year's race season. I put her in a cage and we'll look at her more closer. And if there's a little closer look, she's all scared. Not standing very nice looking, but is a pretty bird. All right, we'll let you eat and drink now if you want to. Now here's 11 of my squeakers I pulled today and yesterday. Two white grizzles. A couple of pies off of the boss and his hen. Of course, blue checks. A dark blue check there, there in the back. And of course, I've got more to pull here pretty quick, too, in another week or so. I talk about Sassy quite often. That's her right there. Very unusual color. I don't even know what color it is. Of course, this is her daughter over here. I've had a, her picture posted on Facebook before. And of course, I put her on the videos, other videos. That's Sassy's daughter. And of course the babies we saw back in the back on the last video, the back door in that compartment. All right, here's a couple of Sassy's babies, the last letter she'll have for this race season. Kind of different looking. 
than her other ones. The other ones were blue, dark blue checks and one blue bar, I believe. And these here have their unique looking color. Now here's Sassy's grandchildren. You see how big they're getting now. Very pretty, very unique color. I'm wondering if those two I showed you inside are gonna look similar to this one right here. Kind of thinking they will. I keep hearing that texting our uh, Old Bird Club races. They're talking about clock knocking off here in a little while from races today. That's why I keep getting those dun -dun 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 on my phone. All right, birds, I'll put y'all back up. Just want to show the folks how y'all looking. Look at the satin nets, baby, how it's growing, getting bigger. There it is, my first satin net baby. <laughs> I've been using my aviary as a cage for them. That's what happens when you start getting too many pigeons. You have to start using aviary as a cage.